If you're watching this video, you've likely played Roller Coaster Tycoon before. Chris Sawyer's 1999 classic is truly timeless, and the 2002 sequel Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 improved on it in nearly every way. A rather interesting fun fact is that the game was written almost entirely in x86 assembly code. To put it simply, Chris more or less wrote the entire game without a high-level programming language, instead using low-level processor commands. This is almost unheard of in the field of computer science, and for understandable reasons. It's difficult, and it restricts the programmer in many ways. Regardless, it's a remarkable achievement, and to this day, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 remains one of my favorite games, and one that I just can't help keep uh, coming back to. It's for this reason that I've been so excited to follow the OpenRCT2 project. Starting in April of 2014, the OpenRCT2 project seeks to completely rebuild the game from the ground up in C++, a modern language, and to add many features in the meantime. If you try to play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 nowadays, you'll find that you have many issues, particularly the lack of a windowed mode and issues with full screen resolutions. It pretty much makes the game unplayable. OpenRCT2 fixes all of these with no tangible downsides and even adds really cool features like multiplayer. In this video, I'll briefly explain how to get OpenRCT2 up and running on your system. I'll also explain how to integrate the system into Steam to add the overlay and enable gameplay time tracking and other perks. This video was made during, during the development of version 0.0.5, uh, so some of this information might be outdated, but if my instructions are no longer valid, I'll either annotate this video to update them or I'll post a new one. Please let me know in the comments if these instructions do not work for you. So our first step here in getting OpenRCT2 working is going to be to install Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 if you haven't already. Uh, you will need a full version of the game to get all the features including the scenarios and track designs and uh, music and everything that comes with the original game. Uh, there's another project similar to OpenRCT2 called OpenTTD which uh, has done a similar thing with another one of Chris Sawyer's games called Transport Tycoon Deluxe. That game's also awesome and it's been out for a lot of years. Uh, you can find that for free online. Uh, but unlike OpenTTD, OpenRCT2 will still need a full version of the game. So if you've got a disc lying around, you can go ahead and install it on your computer via disc. But if you don't or you've misplaced it, uh, you'll want to grab the Steam version like I've got here, or you'll want to grab GOG or another version out there. Uh, this is a game that goes on sale really frequently, uh, particularly over Christmas and Thanksgiving and all those other Steam sales. So uh, that'd be the way I'd recommend to buy it. And while you're at it, buy a few copies for your friends. Uh, but once you've uh, go ahead and uh, went ahead and installed that, you can just follow the directions as they're listed in there. Uh, that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, what we'll go ahead and do is move into getting the OpenRCT2 going. Uh, so if you go ahead and head over to OpenRCT2.org, here you will see you're greeted with a website that looks sort of like this. Tells you a little bit about the game. What we want is the Downloads tab over here. On here you will see all kinds of different versions of the game available for Mac, for Windows, for Linux. Uh, we're not interested in downloading the game directly. Instead what we're going to do is we're going to download the launcher which will automatically update the game for us. So if we scroll past all these versions here, you will see OpenRCT2 launcher for Windows, Linux, and OS X. That is the one we want and there's a link right here. We can follow that. That will take us to a GitHub website that has the launcher. This is uh, version 0 0.06, might be newer, but you're gonna peek around and look for a list of downloads. Right here, there are a whole bunch of versions. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna want this one right here, the openrct2launcher-win.exe. That's just the Windows version. Right above it, there's this version that's x86. If you have a 32-bit computer, uh, which aren't as common anymore, uh, then you'll want that one. Odds are you'll know if you need that version. If you run it and you get an error message about an architecture issue, then that just means you grabbed the wrong one, but uh, you'll need to come back here and grab the correct version. You can choose the version that you need and save it somewhere on your computer. doesn't really matter where. I've already got this downloaded in my downloads folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that here. Similar to installing the game, you should just be able to click your way through, uh, pick your settings as you'd like them, give yourself a desktop shortcut if you want, then uh, choose next. Again, I won't because I've already got this installed, so I'll go ahead and cancel out here. But once you've got that installed, then you should have a shortcut either on your desktop if you put it there or definitely in your start menu. 
you can scroll all the way down to the bottom here under letter O and find open RCT2 launcher and choose that option right there. Now, this window is gonna be a little small on my computer just because I've got a really high resolution, but once you open this, it should go ahead and start downloading the game. It'll take a, it'll take a minute or two before you can open it, but in the meantime, you can choose options and ensure that you have the correct location set here. If you just installed the game and didn't change anything, then OpenRCT2 will find where you've installed it. It'll look in the Steam directory and the other default places that it goes. If you installed it somewhere differently though, go ahead and pick this locate option and point the game, uh, point the launcher to where you installed the game. For branch, you have two choices here, stable and develop. You're gonna wanna leave it on develop uh, just because that's gonna get you the newest versions the most quickly. The stable versions tend to only come out every four or six months or so, so they don't really have all the new features as soon as they come out. You're free to make that decision on your own though. Under hidden settings and multiplayer, there are a couple of other things that you'll want to adjust at some point. But once you've uh, taken a look at those and chosen the ones you want, you can go ahead and choose play. I'm gonna to switch to my in-game camera now. So back in the game now, you will be greeted with a screen that should be pretty familiar. It'll look something like this. Uh, the first thing you might notice is that you get a really small screen to begin with. That's because the game is going to default to a pretty small size. Uh, you'll want to pick options in the upper right hand corner here and you'll get a little menu. Uh, there are all kinds of features in here that I encourage you to take a look at on your own. But the couple that I'm going to point out are the window scale factor and the drawing engine. The window scale factor is going to adjust the size of the windows in game, uh, particularly if you have a really high resolution, it's just gonna be hard to read these uh, windows. So you can choose this option and scale them up a bit to make them a bit easier to see. Uh, most of my friends have had to set that at about 1.5 or 1.75. Uh, my screen is really high resolution, so I had to crank it all the way up to two, uh, but whatever works for you. Then uh, before you exit out, if you do want to get this working with the Steam overlay, you'll want to switch your choice for drawing engine here. By default, it's going to be software, but we're going to want to switch to software hardware direct, which is the second choice there, um, or OpenGL, I believe will work too. Uh, as it stands at the time of this video, the OpenGL support isn't fabulous, so I've uh, went ahead and stuck with the second option. And then while you're at it, you'll want to uncap your frame rate in FPS, and you'll want to, if you'd like, show that. As you can see, I'm running at about 60 frames, which is really good, so particularly for a game like this. But you can choose whichever features you'd like, uh, maybe play around a bit, but the next step of this video is going to be getting the Steam overlay as well as time logging and other features working. So moving on. So I showed the game launching a minute ago by selecting the OpenRCT2 launcher here, but as you can see, I also have it working just out of choosing Steam right here. And the way that we get that working is just a little clever trick to make Steam think that it's launching Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 when in reality it is launching the launcher. So the way that we'll do that is we're actually going to copy the files for the launcher out of where they were installed into the Steam directory. So if you pick under program files, it'll either be program files or program files x86. You'll want to scroll down and find the open RCT2 launcher. Mine is going to be under program files. If you get into this folder here in your C drive, you'll see all kinds of stuff. You're just going to want to copy everything in this folder. And once you've copied everything in this folder, you'll want to back up a couple levels and find your Steam installation. Steam typically will show up in your program files x86, but you'll find that uh, it'll be under Steam. And then you'll want to go to Steam app, which is right there. And then common usually. And then you'll see all your games. You'll find Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And then you're just gonna paste your files right here. And it will copy all of the roller, the OpenRCT2 stuff in there. Uh, and that'll take a second. I've already done that, but once you do that, if it asks you to merge folders or uh, overwrite files, you can go ahead and say yes to all of that and overwrite all of those. Okay, 
So once they are, once your files are all copied in there, uh, there are just a couple more steps. You'll want to find your rct2.exe. Okay, that should be should look like this one right here, and you're actually going to take that and rename it to rct2.exe.old. Okay, that's going to remove the default executable for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 since we won't need it anymore. Uh, and that'll just get it out of our way. Then you'll want to find your launcher.exe. Uh, it'll either be named launcher or open RCT2 launcher or whatever it's called. Uh, and you're going to rename that to exactly rct2.exe. So you're just going to place that one exactly in the place where the old one was. Okay. A uh, couple of a couple of things to be concerned. You do need to make sure that you have file name extensions uh, checked off in your settings for Windows uh, there. Otherwise, it won't rename the files properly. So just make sure you have that box ticked and then make sure you replace that exactly. And once you've done that, you should be able to head right back into Steam like I have here and just pick the play button right out of there. If you don't have the game installed via Steam, and you want to be able to add it uh, as a feature in the overlay and everything, you'll just want to go into your Steam dropdown and choose add a non-Steam game to my library. And then once you've done that, you can choose browse. And go and find the launcher wherever you have placed it. Uh, either way, once you've uh, once you've done that, you will have a game in your Steam listings. It'll either be the Roller Coaster Tycoon game, or like I've done here, it'll just be named Open RCT2 or whichever you've called it. And you should be able to just pick that play button and have it work. Uh, this will again download the new versions of the game every time they come out, and it should work well for you. So in the future, uh, I hope to make some tutorial and kind of introductory videos on some other topics with OpenRCT2, namely multiplayer and just some other tips and tricks that I've noticed. Uh, I've left some useful links in the description, so go ahead and check those out. And thank you so much for watching, guys.